Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. It's your boy Jumpman Jones. You're now live inside episode 257 of the Kickin' Shit Podcast. <laughs> Joining me today are a few good friends of mine. Behind the camera is D. What's going on, D? What's up? What's happening? The woman king. She is the homie. Like I said in the intro, James is not here. This is kind of like my sick game. I got sick on record day, so it's a makeup <laughs> game for sick game. Uh, but shout out to James, man. He hit us up before the show, man. Uh, shout out to him. We will talk to him next week. To my right, it's my boy. It's my partner. It's my dog. It's Mr. Jukebox Johnny, a.k.a. Crown Daddy, a.k.a. Crown Poppy, all the El Himmel, Poppy, the Avion, Don, the Terra Marta God, the Malargo Ho, Mr. Still Your Girl, give her right back because she got hammer toe, man. It's Mr. Jukebox Johnny, man. What's Daddy, going on, are you on the radio? Hey, yep. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, man? No, I'm just chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? We here on a different day, so I gotta get I gotta get in the groove. All right, all right. Uh, other than that, man, if you're watching this right now, you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead, subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, if you listen to us on Apple Podcasts, leave a review, Spotify, follow, uh, iHeart, follow, Google Play, and SoundCloud, follow. Uh, other than that, man, how y'all doing, man? How everybody doing? I'm good, man. So the guy, Justin Bieber's face was paralyzed. Half his face was paralyzed. He couldn't smile. What's that called? They say it's the same thing that causes chicken box and shingles. It's a similar virus. It's called Varcella Zoster or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's another one that's called when your face kind of droop. Uh, pause. Is it a palsy? Oh, cerebral palsy? It ain't cerebral palsy. Oh. It's a... Uh, I I know, yeah, like after people have strokes and shit. I dated a girl with it. She said like, sometimes your face, will, you know what I'm saying? It's something that can just come and go. It, it It's not caused by a stroke. Your face is kind of like, I don't know if it uh, allows them not to talk or to talk. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know, but, bro. Uh, we're gonna have to, somebody going to have to look that up in the comments. Yeah. Put in the comments. I have to look that up, man. Uh, uh, how's everybody, man? Everybody doing good? Yeah, bro. Uh, shit. I wish I had some uh, stuff to talk about this week. Well, I was going to start, yeah. man. So, shout out to the city of Toronto, man. It was Bell's great. Palsy. Bell's, Bell's palsy. palsy. That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> Toronto is not what I thought it would be. It was very slow, but it was very nice. Um, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very different. Um, but we, I enjoyed our time there, man. Shout out to the Atlanta Braves. They took an 03 ass whooping to the Blue Jays. <laughs> This shit was embarrassing. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. And Got nothing to brag about. No, nah, we came back with nothing to brag about, but I did enjoy the cultural experience. Yeah, the food was, uh, like, Yo, unbelievable. I've never seen somebody eat the same thing over and you over know, I had to, over. I had to try. I had to try and see, you know, where can I go to get the best poon team? And I still oh got to go God. back and get some more, because I heard, like, you can go to Montreal. And, and get some more. Yeah, I heard it's good up there. I Damn. heard uh, London, Canada got some good. For real? Yeah, so... Gotta, uh, I gotta go back. How was it? I didn't see any that I wanted to try. It looked like it was like soupy. Uh, nah, it wasn't too soupy. It was good. I've actually had that dish, sim- a similar dish to that, uh, in New Jersey, but they called it, uh, I think they call it dirty fries in New Jersey okay. or garbage fries. And it's similar, but I think they use mozzarella instead of the cheese curds. Got you. That's uh, why he's asking about cheese curds. Got it. Got yeah, it, got but it, uh, now nah, it was good. The one I had at that diner might have been the best one because they had the bacon, they had the ham. Yeah, that looked crazy. Uh, yeah, that, that joint went ham. The crazy. gravy was brown as hell. I said, all right, now this this would be it right here for me. <laughs> yo, and then yo. I tried Hooters in Toronto, which yo, we gotta we gotta start showing <laughs> respect to the Hooters in the South. Wow, what's, what's that difference? Hooters in Toronto was trash, bro. They had, like, I, you know, I don't want to talk bad about the women, but just the service was horrible. And, um, yeah, it just wasn't the same, man. It wasn't, wasn't the same. same. Yeah. To, uh, Hooters, only, Hooters and Toronto don't look like they go together. Like, Yeah. When, you think of, I, when I think of Hooters, I think of blonde hair, white women, and bikes. Yeah, that's what, like, some yeah. redneck shit, right? Yeah, it don't. Yeah, it don't that's why I said we got to give more respect to the Hooters down here in the, in the South, man, with the, you know what I'm saying, redneck women probably grew up in the trailer park. Yeah, You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? This is a good job to her, so yeah. she goes to give oh, you good wow. service. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a good job to nah, her. I mean, they did a special on Hooters one time. I um, saw the... Um, Undercover boss of uh, Hooters. Is that the special? I think that's the special yeah, I'm thinking about. Yeah, it might have been. But, yeah, that was uh, interesting. Like, that that one boss was horrible. He was making yes. them girls. Um, they had to tie their hands behind their back. 
just thought, to get PTO. Like they would have to, he would put a can of beans, a uh, plate of beans on the table, and they had oh, to eat with no I hands. That. Yeah. That shit yeah. Was yeah, whoever won got PTO. That's sick. Man. <laughs> All right, HR issues waiting. <laughs> I don't think nothing still happened to that guy, but besides him, you know, being reprimanded or whatever. Yeah, I think, I think really yeah, the guy him. just told him the undercoat, the boss, the undercover boss that was there just told him. I think they ended up firing him or something That's, like that. Sick man. And I think Hooters might be a franchise. Hooters is a yeah. franchise. That's when I learned it was a family business. It was designed to be a family restaurant. I was like, really? I mean, technically it is. Besides the girls walking around, I mean, really, they don't sell like Twin Peaks sell titties. No, nah, Hooters. <laughs> they don't. got like indie windows on the wall and shit at uh, Twin Peaks. Who Hooters don't sell titties? Yeah, they no. just oh, Twin Peaks. <laughs> yeah, but it took me forever to realize that that's what that was. I didn't know that's what that was. I, I seen the mountains outside and I was like, oh, it's like a mountain place. I didn't know it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. had no Hooters clue. Is just a sports bar, really. And then I went in there and those peaks were not peaking. Were, <laughs> every now and again, you get were, you some peaks. They, they were foothills. <laughs> you get, you get, you get <laughs> you some Himalayans every now and again. I don't want peaks over my peas and chicken tenders. I'm good. <laughs> um, also, we ate at All a place. All right, now, when Johnson's come out, I bet not see you over at Johnson's. That's different. <laughs> they hold oh, the wow. train for both. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> the waistline. <laughs> Um, we also ate a place called Chubby's, man. Shout out to Chubby's. Chubby's was an experience, man. Um, Delicious. Uh, another place we were recommended we didn't get to hit was called Simone's, man. But uh, Chubby's definitely did did the kick for the Jamaican. Right. Jamaican swag, man. But if you're in Toronto, man. Uh, Y'all boys went to Bar Chef, too. Uh, Bar Chef. Bar Chef was dope. <laughs> yeah, that's on my list. Bar um, Chef was dope. I like Bar Chef. Trying to go there. I ain't got nothing to say about it. It's, to what? me, it was, you know what? It was a nice vibe. The, I didn't like the two-hour <laughs> wait, and I didn't like... It was an hour. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Once we got in there, <laughs> it took them two hours to get their drinks. Uh, but, yeah, I didn't like that part. But the, the drink, the ambiance is good. The drinks look cool and shit like that. So what did you get? I didn't get didn't anything. Get I said, fuck them. <laughs> not oh. the, not my people, but, like, fuck Bar and Chef. Okay. Ain't getting my money for a rainfall. You gonna give me an old ass, <laughs> an old fashioned, and put that bitch in the middle of a miniature rainfall to charge me seventy dollars for an old fashioned? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I, I'll have to break I'll have to break down the mixology oh, experience God. to my man's over here. <laughs> yeah, shout out to them. It look cool. Shout yeah, out to they, the uh, drinks coming out smoking and damn birds chirping. I'm like, bro, what is? Oh going yeah, I did on? hear the birds chirping. I did hear the birds chirping. I did <laughs> like, hear the bro, birds what chirping. What is going on? Um, also, went to the art gallery at Ontario. I like that. I enjoyed that. Uh, oh yeah, y'all, good pastries, I, good coffee, uh, good art, man. They had an art exhibit uh, called "Feels Like Home." Uh, I can't remember the artist's name, but it was a uh, around black culture in Canada in Toronto. And, do they uh, do that here? At I, all? What? Like when an artist like calls would come or like a famous artist. Oh uh, yeah, come. when they have an exhibit. Yeah. Yeah, they put it out. If you like if you subscribe to the email list or if you're downtown, they they sometimes Some of the street it. artists I like, like uh Kanye Kanye, the dude that did the uh graduation cover. I like his art. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean I ain't an artist. No nah, artsy nah, person. No, no, no. I just actually just, you know, I like going to places like that, uh, absor- absorbing what culture is there, especially when you're out of town, kind of s- can get a feel for the people in the area when you see, like, the local artists or artists from the same, like, country or whatever. Right. Because um, when I was in Amsterdam, we went to an art gallery and uh, art museum, and I, it, it helped me understand where I was at even more. So that's kind of, like, what you can get when you're there. You partaked but, in the herb? Uh no no oh, okay no say, I did I did I fell herb? on my face oh yeah 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 oh yeah. was he talking about the herb yeah like was the herb comparable to like Cali I can't Amsterdam remember, did you, you know. smoke in Amsterdam I did smoke in Amsterdam oh okay I didn't, okay I, didn't. I, just I need wanted to be on to my see what the flavors were nah nah if nah. it was different you know maybe the weed got a distinct taste up there or something but Bobby Joe do got some more left so if oh, he ain't okay. smoked at all I, w- I wanted to taste it now since I'm in, in my environment should have tried some CBD so I can compare it to my CBD. I mean, you could have. Yeah, I should have. Should have. <laughs> uh, also, man, yesterday in Charlotte, we had this R&B Vibes event. That shit was dope, man. Who yeah. put that on, man? Shout that out to them. That was the first one? That was the first yeah. annual. Oh, okay. They have, they're going to have part two. Oh, well, we had 10 this DJs. Year? 10. 10 yes. DJs. 10 DJs. 2 to 10. Kids till 6.30. So you, it was a good family event. Um... I would say it was a good event for singles, man. You could have came out there and snagged you up something, uh, ladies and fellas. 
That's what's up, man. Some vanilla Everybody claiming they're looking for somebody. There Some you white go. women in the building. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you wanted you know, something that. You know. If that's what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, uh, they had they had uh, Symphony Park lit over there in South Park, man. That's so awesome, it was the first man. annual. Um, I hope I hope they do that again, Yeah, I like to see like things that uh, it's just people of color could do. Oh, yeah. Uh, stuff like that. Because I know, the, was it last year where they had that secret party where everybody wore white? What was oh, that called? that's dinner on That's block. dinner, yeah. that dinner on block. Cool too, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like stuff like that. I mean, I would never go to anything like that because I just don't like it being around that many people. Dinner on block is actually a white thing. Oh, it's some white people shit? Yeah, I have to break it down to uh, you on another day when I, we got more that's time. All I saw in the pictures was a whole bunch of black people and white shit. It is, it is, but it's got history behind it. It's got oh, a lot of history behind okay, it. Yeah, okay. yeah. But it's uh, that's a pretty yeah dope event. It's kind of like, that's what yesterday reminded me of. Just more free, wear what you want, come as you are, mm. and just let loose, let your hair down. You know what I'm saying? They had the vendors out there. D said the food was good. I didn't have any of the food. Um... Yeah, just it was an all around dope. I like seeing black people happy and dancing and doing things uh, awesome. in my hometown. Now, so. is this anywhere near the fire that occurred? Oh, yeah, we were right by the fire. Can you still smell the smoke? Nah, no. Was, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, matter of fact, rest in peace to the people who lost their lives in that fire. Two guys lost their lives Two, in the fire yes. right. in Charlotte on Thursday. Uh, a construction building got burnt up in the flames. Uh, damn. Yeah, that was sad. Yeah, it was. I like my coworker hit me up. It was like turn to the news. Well, she sent us the link in the team's chat. That and shit then was I turned bad. it to the news. I said, Whoa. Yeah. yeah. This shit looking crazy. It like the human torch ran into a building. Definitely yeah. a shout out to well not shout out, but condolences rather. Um, to the families of the two that passed. I just mm-hmm. hate that the guy like one of the guys went live. Yeah, yeah. And I think he was trying to like show like he still needed help. Um oh. I don't Him know. and his friend was stuck. And him and his friend was stuck in. Yeah. Was his friend the other guy that passed? I believe. It's got to be. I think so, because I think they were on the top oh, level, if I'm not mistaken. But mm-hmm. they ended up having to rescue, because, um, you know, the fire department ended up holding a press conference um, around 1 o'clock that same day, Thursday. And they expressed, like, they even had to rescue a couple of the firefighters, because some of the firefighters mm. got stuck yeah. um, trying yeah, to save that. people. So. It, it just sucks that that was his last moments captured. Yeah, it but. is. It's uh, it's a bit. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Is it cryptic or whatever? When you see that, yeah, and you know that's his last moments. He right. filming himself oh, yeah. live. Yeah, yeah, it's eerie to me. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Eerie, very eerie. Yeah, but uh-huh. um, no, it wasn't any smoke. Um, because they they blocked off a few streets, but mm. none of the streets were blocked. Um, by the time we went out there for the festival, so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they cleaned that up that day. Um, I think by the end of that day, that was all. It was, it was what it was. Uh, they got it put out. They got it cleaned up. Them streets is back open ASAP. So, I wonder what happened with that. I wonder if it's some insurance shit or just some faulty wiring. I don't know. I think someone. I, I'm not sure. Um, so listeners, don't jump down my throat. There was. It may have been due to some spray foam mm-hmm. because spray foam is extremely, extremely flammable. Um, so that may have been the gotcha. cause of it, but I'm pretty Whew. sure there's still a up in up in up flames. Flames. right because we, we yeah. could see it. Um, I'd actually went to the office that we could see it from our building. Mm. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Honestly, I'm close as fuck to it. I didn't see a lot of. It seemed a little hazy, but that day was cloudy too. That day was cloudy. It wasn't a lot of sun out. All right. Um. All right, man. Well, other than that, that's the catch up. Yeah, man. Um, let's dive into if a random church sends you 10K. What the fuck is that about? Yeah, it was just, a, you know, some <laughs> random, sometimes a random topic pops up on Twitter and it, it take off. So it was a uh, question that if a random church sent you cash out for $10,000, are you going to send it back? How I know it's a church. You know, maybe the name that pops up, it might say Greater Greater Baptist something. <clears throat> but what if Sent you $10,000 for building fund. I guess I'm building something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to handle that with your bank, brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> File a claim. Yeah. Because I think at that point, if they send it, because it asks you, are you sure? And that's the liability there. They 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 hands free. Right. The oh. bank is free, cash app free, because they're saying they want you to confirm this before you send it. If you, this person not in your contact list, are you sure? So triple, double, and quadruple check. Right. So really, it's your money. Mm. But you know what I'm saying? God going to look on you. The universe going to look on you. I don't know what God want him to have that 10K. It's kind of like that lady and that baby in the Bible. 
when they when the king was about to split the baby in two, it's like mm. shoot, you know what I'm saying. That could have went down. So right. I don't know. Do God want you to have this thing? I don't know. Uh, he want me to have it. Yeah. I end up in my bank account. You know, uh, when I was younger, we had went to a, um, a a yard sale, and we bought a dresser. Um, you told me about this. Oh yeah, and it was. Uh, I always thought it was ten thousand, but recently my parents said it was only five thousand. Still a lot of money. Yeah, and uh, they gave it back. <laughs> I said, dang. But they've been rewarded in the long run. Yeah, yeah. You can, yeah, you see that. I, I mean, guess yeah. just, uh, They have. Just being, I guess, good moral people eventually works out in the long run. But, but that's just when like you the, broke uh, five grand and your whoo, hand looks right. sound good. And kids then, eating all your food. Right. Up. I was going to say they had kids and all. <laughs> that's the kids a whole lot. Eat, especially the older they get. Right, Dude, man. All this shit. But, but uh, the 10 grand, I give it back. It'd hurt. Well, I'll give it back. That's like, uh, y'all talked about him here when, uh, what was his name? Old Osteen. Oh, Joel. Joel yeah. Osteen, when he had the plumber and the plumber found all that money in the wall. In the I'm bathroom. not giving Osteen shit yeah. back. And the plumber reported the money he found, and I think it gave him like a couple hundred. Yeah, nah. they ain't giving nothing. Like, yeah, no. I would have just straight put that money in my work bag. Kept I'm not, <laughs> yeah, because they didn't know it was there, no. obviously. No, Osteen knew that money was in that wall. Oh, probably yeah, so. Yeah, nigga up to some shit. You know he, what? Who knows fact, when he needs it, though? I'm keeping the money. Yeah. Saying, I Joel, I that might be how. backup money, and he might not never have to go into that wall. Facts. I would fix the plumbing issue. And kept Joel right. Osteen got a whole stadium. We passed it on the highway. He don't right. need no they money. They ain't let nobody in when the they needed. The Rockets used to play at your church, bro. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like what's imagine. happening here? Like, imagine. No, nah, you actually Stephen really Furtick look up to Joel Osteen. You see how big Stephen Furtick is. <sighs> he built his own stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Yeah, they be selling out Spectrum. I don't know what be going on at Elevation. Never been. I ain't got nothing against it. I heard but they be selling out Spectrum. I heard it's lit. Do you been? I have been. <laughs> I've been to uh, Production Sundays. And it's not called Production Sundays, but it's definitely a production. Because um, you go in there and they have the, you know, the camera. <laughs> the con- I've only seen it at concerts that hangs from the ceiling and moves around. Oh, yeah. They got it's, that? Yeah. At like, the main church? Yeah, wow. in Valentine. So, Valentine. like, you go and that camera's circling. It's uh-huh. capturing people. It's capturing whoever's singing, speaking. That, like, it's... I watch them on YouTube sometimes. It yeah. do look nice in there. I ain't gonna lie, though. Elevation got them joints. Yeah, they sure do. I if mean, if, if you're a, 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 a godly, godly <laughs> man, you're looking for a nice godly single yeah. woman, definitely go to Elevation. Or if you're looking for a woman that's been broken. And she, she like, normally, after women have been broken, I notice they go to Elevation, like... They, be right. like, they, they might be on the same vibe too They might be over there trying to find them a broken man See what I'm saying? Boom. Do not <laughs> go to Elevation with y'all broken asses God healing them together Go right. get healed That's why they at Elevation nah, Go get healed and focus on healing and Focus on God and then focus on uh-uh, each other Uh uh-uh, uh see Healing hey. is a hard thing, man. Side note, it's a hard thing. It is. <laughs> yeah, elevation ain't gonna do it by itself. You gonna have to put some more work in. And did you but put the work, work is in not with her? Fucking the congregation. Find you another, tr- <laughs> find you another broken person to see- seeking the Lord. Yeah, man, y'all read scriptures. Damn, Maybe it Christian depends on what the break pieces. is. No, thank you. What? Maybe it depends on what you broken about. See. You know what I'm saying? You know I wouldn't say it was over a dude, just broken people. You know oh, what I'm and they have so like in the lobby, which I thought was pretty pretty dope. They one they have a gift shop, which is weird. What do they sell? T shirts? T shirts, Bibles, magnets. You know, I need and a then, new Bible. I might go have, and get one. I I got one for you. Oh, for real? Yeah, I I bring it next time because it's it's from Elevation. It's like when you give praise or whatever. Because I gave my last one to Goodwill on accident. <laughs> I'll bring you the one I have. They um. <laughs> I had my hand, I was praising with my, my former roommate, and um, I guess they mistaken that I was trying to be saved, so they gave oh. me, like, one of the Bibles they pass out to Dang, new Bibles people. Bibles are expensive, and they just giving them things away for free? It's still wrapped. I bring it. Yep. Oh, that's crazy. So, but they have, like, a, they also have, like, a news area with, light, like, lighting, production lighting. So, in between the services, they have, like, a podcast news moment. Um, that goes on their YouTube channel. And you like a post game show, kind of. Stephen and, was wow. tearing that shit up today. What do you think about it? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> and you can, and you can, like you can watch them record it um, for YouTube. So I thought that was that was pretty interesting. 
But uh, yeah, they got a whole thing set up at Elevation. Listen, they got Elevation crazy. Ohio. Ja was telling me they got Elevation Ohio now. Well, they all got, over the they place. They got Elevation Ohio. Guys. Oh yeah, you know he was uh, he was fit to be tired about that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I can tell. <laughs> all right, man. So this week also on Twitter, man, people were sharing their most embarrassing moments during sex. Some of these. Were I need to hear this. Hilarious. All right, we both got naked. Oh, hold on. I ain't like that one. I ain't like that one. I came so hard from getting a weenie whistle that I farted. What the hell is a weenie whistle? Like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Y'all these silly ass is not going to make it to these now. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> lost, a grape, <laughs> lost a grape inside me. It didn't tell me, and it didn't come out to two days. Nah, I'm like, I ain't like that one. Hold on. Uh, All right. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. She bet me $100. She could make me come during head. I told her I'd never come like that. She blew me until my dick went numb. I thought I was about to come, but ended up peeing in her mouth really bad. Almost suffocated her. Damn, bro. I ain't yeah. never heard nothing like that before. I didn't know you could pee. I, uh, his dick was soft. That's why he was oh, able to pee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, let's see. She's disgusting because why are you being suffocated? Her dog hopped up on the bed while I was giving back shots and tried to lick my ass. Now, I have experienced yeah, the dog kind of getting too close to your ass. You trying to like, move, nigga, I'm doing my thing. Uh-huh. All right, let's see. Brung a chick to my baby mama crib while she was at work. Nutted quick. Hold on. Nutted quick. Walked outside. My car was towed. She beat us both up. Okay, I ain't like that one. Why are you doing that? First of all, why are you yeah, with the stupid. disrespect? <laughs> oh man, she kept she kept screaming to get her pregnant, and I went soft. Nah, that'll get me right. You stupid. <laughs> okay, nah. I kind of would be into it too. Uh, we both were a little drunk, and the sex was lit. So afterwards, I still wanted a little more, but she was visibly tired. I asked, "Could we get her friend to come upstairs?" And she almost started crying. I felt so bad, laugh out loud. I was apologizing on the spot. I didn't want to make her cry. Damn, dude. That's right. She started squirting while she was riding my face, and it was going on my, up my. Oh, hold on. It was going on my nose. It's probably up, up my <laughs> nose and filled my mouth. I was Ew. slapping her leg to get the fuck off, but she kept riding, talking about you eating that shit. <laughs> I tossed her ass off the bed. Then she w she got up and left mad because I threw her. Let's see. I love a nice motivational woman. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, who is the one where the nigga got soft twice inside? This time the girl squirted all over the floor, and I slipped in it and twisted my damn ankle. Oh wow! She was throwing it back, and I couldn't catch it. And then she knocked me off the bed. Nah, these ain't embarrassing enough. It was one where the guy said he didn't want to have sex with the girl, and so they were. They were having sex and he got soft three times in it and she eventually left. <laughs> Which I, I don't know how that's possible to get soft three times in some pussy. Yeah, you but might want to give up. Drunk, that's the only thing I can think of. Man, there is a such thing as not good pussy or not good a uh, woman that's not just good in the bit. Like she just don't have the goods. Yeah. Um, she could have not just had the goods. That could have been it. You but, need you know motivation. You would experience, man, you're going you gonna to figure something out. Not if you don't want it. Nah, that, yeah, I guess if you don't want it. You kind of, yeah. He probably don't care. But, but you still try it. Like, if you don't want it, you know you don't want it before you start. Yeah, that's true. He was trying to get hard. Yeah, but see, there's this thing, like, with men and women and manipulation. Like, you can manipulate them. Like, all right, it's like the candy shit we was watching. He didn't really <laughs> want to cheat on his wife. He didn't. But she convinced him to cheat on his wife. She because did. as a man, it just kind of feels weird turning down some cookie. Even after you turn it down and she don't take no for an answer. It's like when a woman don't take no for an answer, it's kind of like she can make, she'll probably get what she wants. That is very true. Like yeah. a woman can say the right thing to you. Like, yep, you know what? You I'll, say no. I'll yeah. deal with the consequences later. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Hi, right, man. Damn. <laughs> I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to do this anyway. <laughs> well, I don't, I wonder why it is like why men can't, why women have a better time at fighting temptation over men. Cause we like get, what psychologically is out there that women just they good at fighting temptation. My my Sexual opinion is my Sexual. opinion is if we tried the same antics, like if we tried the same antics, antics is is damn near um, predatory. 
Like if we say oh. please, 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 and she said no, 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 and, and please, please, and it's no, 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 no. At some point, she could scream whatever she wants to scream because it make you look crazy. We can't do that to them. I don't know what it is about like us. Fear. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what it is about us. I mean, they are women. At the end of the day, it's like all right, sweetheart, I can, I, we can do it. It's almost like if they if a woman was too big, I mean, is it? I don't know. Is that bad? I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one. Mm. I don't know why we give in. We do. We should. Maybe do. could be. Is it possible that you feel like you know it's gonna be a while before another woman comes around and no. ask you? Oh, uh, you think maybe the frequency? No, no, no. I don't think that's it. Because women, they say women could just go to the gas station and a nigga gonna holler at them. Facts. But if a woman is begging you. If a woman is like insisting that you guys try this and you're adamant you don't, it's apparent she don't have options. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but you are okay with not ever receiving whatever she's offering or anything else. So I think the yeah just finally comes down to, I don't know, man. Maybe they're very convincing. Yeah, I mean, I you know I've been in that I've been in that situation where I'm just like ah fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> like listen, it, yeah. like it's almost like. You don't want it. You didn't come in with the intention to do anything, but you're like, well, she here. She ready. Might as well. Yeah. yeah. Or, nah, all right. Well, let's just get it over with. Yeah. Like, Sad life to live, though. Yeah. I don't know why men are like that, man. I have to poll 100 men. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm interested in what all 100 will say. She, bro, like, fuck it. You know what I'm okay. saying? She got a <laughs> pussy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, nigga, niggas be wildin', bro. Uh, like, yo, bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> niggas do be wildin', man. I was thinking about that the other day when I was, uh, I was saying like um, how, you know, we joke around, we tell gay jokes, uh-huh. and uh, yeah, the gay person is probably like the butt of the joke, but there's also a part of a person that's part of the joke is the ignorant person that we imitate and oh, that, yeah. that means the shit that they really that we be saying. Like yo, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, like it's always the ignorant person that's serious about that. I feel like that ignorant, like the men, the shit men say represents like a little bit more than half of us. And I be hating it. Right, yeah, yeah, because it's like we'll say, man, that shit gay, but we just joking. But it's a nigga out there that that shit gay, and and he's serious about that shit being gay. Man, no, bro, play that shit. (laughs) Like, damn, all right, buddy. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) we get it. (laughs) Speaking of, I had a conversation with my best friend the other day, and we were talking about wearing women's clothes, not in the sense of wearing women's clothes to wear women's clothes. But in a situation where you might be offered to wear women's clothes. So I'll give an example. I was in a situation where I was stuck out of town and we all my clothes were in my bag and had been shook. I we had got stranded somewhere and had to lay over. So I got on the same drawers. I got on the same, you know, pants, shirt, (laughs) all my shit gone. I went I'm with my you know, I'm with my lady at the time. Mind you, I've been. We was in New Orleans. I had to take one. This is a true story. Yes, yeah, a true oh, okay, story. Okay, okay. I had to take me one, so I took me one. We go back to the airport the next day. We find out we about to be late over again. Well, I'm like, I can't sit here with a shitty ass. I need to take a shower. I need clothes. So we catch a taxi to Walmart. And when we catch a taxi to Walmart, they don't have shit in my size in men's. Mm. So I go to the women's section. I get me some women's jogging pants in my size. Mind you, at the time I'm about 180, and I don't, I'm not shaped this way. I found women's jogging pants in my size, and I find a woman's t-shirt in my size, and my drawers are still white. So I said, I'll just clean my ass real good, throw my drawers back on, throw this on. I feel better, and that's what I did. So in the scenario, I used that scenario to say to my friend, like, "Yo, this person was offering to do you a favor, although you didn't have anything to put on. He didn't feel comfortable putting on women's clothes because he didn't, quote unquote, have to." And I was saying, "Like, dog, are you really scared to put on? Like, that's gonna make you less of a man because you had to just borrow some shorts real quick, like a female hoodie or a female a female hoodie." I don't borrow shorts for I women. Don't... I've I've done it. I don't know if I can fit. I got too much. You I was know, gonna say I have I'm too thick for them. That was, my lounge clothes are really big for me because I get them from the men's section. Like I just like to feel comfortable or be comfy like that. Yeah. So I've offered um, in an instance where I've had somebody pick end up picking them up from the airport here because they got stuck here, but they weren't supposed to be here, but their bags weren't here. And in that case, like, I was like, I can wash your clothes and I'll give you something just to lounge in for now. Do a quick wash, 
dry and then you put your clothes yeah, back on. Yeah, you put on. your clothes yeah. back on. So like, like in that case, I mean, you right. in the house. So even if she gave you some booty shorts. Like, exactly. Just I'll, throw them shits about on the ass shorts. Just don't give me the Victoria's Secret leggings <laughs> or the boy shorts. I've had the, uh, no, of course not. I'm not wearing your panties or nothing like that. But like, I, I got, I got a girl I used to mess with track shorts. Like, I don't, it don't, bo- it, for me, it don't bother me. But I know there's men out there that's like, ah, oh, nah, that's for women. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like they serious about that shit. They serious. They not playing. Like, uh-uh. No. No. Hey, some <laughs> niggas just hard, bro. They just too hard for themselves. Well, shout out to them niggas, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. I got, a, I got a female hoodie now. I wear that shit regularly. Me, she, that I, shit comfortable than a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. I got a female <laughs> t-shirt upstairs that I was able to fit, and I was just so happy I was able to fit it. that I just kept it for years. Right. <laughs> um... Why we speaking about man, man? Rudy Giuliani, man. Let's go into politics. <laughs> Brett Wiley. Might as well go into Rudy Giuliani, man. Uh, so uh, this lady named Noel Dunphy, uh, she was an employee of his, and she's accusing him of sex, uh, sexual assault. Now, in a 70-page suit, it has multiple audio recordings uh, detailing the sexual assault. She was forced to engage in violent sex, attend work video conferences naked, and work short, wear short shorts to work, um, with oh, with a printed American flag on him. <laughs> yeah, bro, I love America, Donnie. <laughs> America and pussy. America. And he often demanded all sex while he took calls on speakerphone. Um, he wanted to feel <laughs> like he was Bill Clinton. Now, this is all alleged. We don't know if it's true, but this is some wild shit. Um, I feel like part of that might be true. It might be exaggerated a bit. Uh, cause this was seventy page report. Like, it, I did had to come from somewhere. Nah, I, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But the oral sex on the phone, my guy. All right now, that's some boss player shit. Like, I'm all, sorry. Only nigga that could do that is Bill Clinton. Like, getting and, right. and he wanted to feel like <laughs> Bill Clinton. But I, I, like, do you want people to hear the slurping in action? Like, what's going on? Maybe the thrill, maybe the thrill, or just the power. It's like, yo, I'm getting some head while I'm having a business meeting. Let's go. But how in the hell? Do you think, like, how do you look past this uncomfortable person that's doing that? Like, you basically forcing her to give you head? Oh, now that the forcing part is bad, but if you know you you lady over at you, you working, you on a, you on a call, you on a Skype meeting or something, you're like, see, let's try something. But forcing it, that's the bad part for me. You right? I, I bet Diddy get head all the time. We don't know that. <laughs> I no, bet my boy Diddy getting some head out of time. But is it consensual? As he's screwing somebody out of a contract. Let's hope so. <laughs> I hope it's consensual. Yeah, I think that's the main thing for me, the the consensual part. But I don't see nothing wrong with getting some head while you, you know, chilling. I, I mean, see no, there's nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with, with none it, of these acts. You, uh, it's actually a very freaky sex book she's <laughs> writing here. But the fact that it was forced. Yeah, that's right. definitely. Don't force the, nobody to do that. That's a far right, like, uh, graphic novel, like yeah. a sex novel. Yeah, I walk into the office right. with my American flag panties on. <laughs> <laughs> All fifty stars were soaked. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Uh, facts. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. I can see all the right wing women. Oh man, reading that like it's Zane. Have you heard confessions of a right wing woman? I don't even right. know what you call it. Yeah, we have to come up with that, but we can probably make some money, man. That would New be a York good Times bestseller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would New be a York good Times bestseller. What's that shit called? Fifty Shades of Grey. Freak, call that freak on the right. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh shut man, up. freak on the right. <laughs> Uh, what else I got in politics, man? We got uh, uh, the Biden administration uh, and the airline rules, Johnny. Yeah, man. So, uh, you know, Biden out here, he says that he's out here doing the little things for people. And that's what's going to be his. Uh, he's doing little things. <laughs> he said it's the little things. <laughs> uh, but that's going to be something that they go hard with on a campaign um, next year. But apparently. And I didn't even know it was in the uh, the rules and regulations of flights that if your flight get canceled or and it's the airline's fault uh, that they supposed to put you up if you got to stay overnight they supposed to put you up in a hotel provide you with some type of dinner credit. Mm. Uh, but apparently that, that doesn't shit. happen a lot. So uh, yeah, no, no. what they're going to do? What they're trying to do is get them to enforce this rule more often to the point where it shouldn't be something that they have to ask for. It's a given. It's like, hey, we cancel your flight. Here's you know, your credit for food and we putting you up in this hotel. Do you need transportation? Yeah. I mean, I, I fuck with that, man. I didn't know that. I've been stranded. Only thing I feel like now is that raises airline prices. Like they're going to find a way. 
But, nah, it's to cover but it codes. shouldn't because it's already True. it's already a part of your spawn point. When you purchase your ticket, mm -hmm. it's already there. So you're already paying, I guess, for the possibility of having to use um, that service or the airline providing uh, that service. But if we never had to enforce it, that means we save money on this over time. So we've been able to cut prices because we know we never really have to enforce this. So although it may be baked in, it may not be as baked in as it was before. And they're like, all right, we, we can shave it down a little bit, save some money. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I don't yeah, know. I get what you're saying. And yeah. that could be possibly true. And I think if they start to see some, I think if the bottom line start to go down, then, yeah, they will. Because of that, I feel like they have to raise prices because they got to make money. But yeah. it also will increase morale of its customers because a lot of people true. are that over you off. flying in general, like, I mean, there's no great airline out here due to the economy, due to the lack of people Custom. they have for being flight attendants. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. they operate on a strict schedule, too. Like, mm -hmm. they can't fly over a certain amount of hours, so they get to you, and they were running behind, but now they hit their mark. There's nothing that they can do. They can't go fly that plane again. Right. And Custom. so, but in those cases, it is it's still the airline's fault because it's like you should have – some type of contingency to where this doesn't happen. Yeah. But people don't know to ask. And so they just take it as right. I'm stranded here. So I got to stay in the airport. No. And they take advantage. My of friend that, that happened yeah. there, uh, her mom and her mom, uh, called a cousin to come get her from like, I think the cousin was a couple hours away. Yeah. And I didn't even, they probably didn't know that either. And I, and I, I will say, um, I didn't know that. Either. There is a young lady that's on Facebook. Um, listeners definitely tag her. I forget her name. She's a lawyer. And she does TikTok videos about all the small print on with airlines. Oh. So she'd be like, in this case, if this happens, this is what you have. To, and she, you know, she reads everything off. And then she's like, my name is such and such. And I'm a lawyer. I read all the small print so you don't have to. But she does talk about how if you are stranded somewhere, even if you know people, don't leave the airport until you have points, a voucher or something of the sort. Mm -hmm. Because once you leave, then it's like. Well, you had somewhere else to go, or you had yeah. other accommodations. That's fucked up. So That's what's up. We need more people like her. What a yeah. hero! Yeah, we need somebody I, I for the banks. We need name. somebody for airlines, yeah. hotels. We need somebody. Definitely read, somebody for reading hotels. All them fire it's a prints. lot of little small heroes on TikTok right. and YouTube that be dropping the little secrets. Because I be clicking accept, accept, accept. I don't read nothing. No, None of the that. disclosures. I don't read that shit. Because like, <laughs> even if you decline, you can't you can't buy shit. Like uh, why decline it? Terms so, of service, nigga. No, I I don't. Even with the, like down to the cookies thing, like oh yeah, I don't accept all. I always be like accept no. Oh, you do. <laughs> I go to like the details on I whatever's necessary, but all the other stuff they have checked, I didn't check all that. No, I don't need. I'd be just accepting the cookies. Mm -hmm. I'm like shit. Track me. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be surprised. <laughs> if it if it give me the option, I won't accept. Yeah. Yeah. If it give me the option, but if it don't give me the option, then I don't know what, what what's going on. Um, also, Governor Ron DeSantis is running for president. All right, Republicans, y'all got a race now. And isn't it a black dude running for president too for the Republicans? Some black dude? Uh, I don't know. I can't think of his name. The only thing I can think of is uh, Tim Scott, maybe. Tim Scott is he black? From uh, South Carolina? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's somebody, man. They ended. They had the race. Uh, D, you don't like this, man. Why you don't like Ron DeSantis running for president? Yeah, fuck man? Ron DeSantis. First <laughs> off, I'm trying to go back to the fifties. No, no, I'm not. I want some uh, <laughs> The only thing that man has said that made sense is the potential death um, sentence for child rapists. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, um, yeah, no, fuck him. He don't fuck with Mickey Mouse. Like, who don't fuck with Mickey That's Mouse? That's true. They they gonna lose some money if Disney end up pulling Disney shit. Disney just canceled a billion dollar um construction project that was going to take place I'm in to Carolina. In Florida. Um that was actually a part of their I think Imagination uh subsidiary that, you know, does like Pixar or whatever, whatever. They were moving people from California to Disney and they were building like this big old mm. office building. But they've now canceled it. Unfortunately, some people have already been moved to Florida Damn. for that project. So they're having to then move back. But it's the whole back and forth with the Santes over land, taxes, and everything else. Then you have his dumbass policies regarding books, um, Tony Morrison, to James Baldwin. Like he does, he really is not filling books that speak truth. Right. He's fine with 
all of the, you know, glorifying of Yeah, and they don't really ever explain their like stances on that. They just they got talking points, and that's all they keep saying are they talking points. But it's like, bro, what's really the problem here? Because right. obviously we know, but like you, we need you to say it out your mouth. Right. And then on top of that, you, I, Florida is a stand your ground um, state, but there are some policies that he is. I, I can't say policies that he's kind of put in writing, but there have been some speaking points um, where he's not. He supports staying your ground, but not for everybody, and he's kind of made that clear. Um. So it's just one of those things where I don't, I don't fuck with him. I don't think he would be a great presidential candidate um, because of the stuff that he's done with Florida. It just gives him another platform to try to do this na- for you know for our nation, and it's like for me personally, I think on the book set alone, it's like nah, fuck you, yeah, because yeah. you you're telling me that my child my niece, my nephew, my, the, the younger generation should not have access to information because that's really right. where information if is If he get kept. to be, we're going to need Dr. Umar to run. Man. Yo, we, stupid. We, we got it. We got <laughs> Dr. Umar versus Damn. DeSantis debate going to be a fool. Dr. Umar ain't about to come. He, he, y'all going to have to come up off y'all grip money. <laughs> Like, <laughs> Yo, y'all if y'all don't have that grip money ready, he I'm can't interested to see how these Republican candidates are received with the with Joe Biden being the only person, like I'm interested to see how they receive. Yeah, well, we'll see. I think debate season will probably start later this year, late in the year. Um, what do you do when everything's red? Like, what? What? What does that mean? Shit, like, it's a different country at that point, right? For real? It has to be. Damn, has it ever been that way? Like, yeah, it's never been because some states are just. Oh, you mean like? Oh, yeah, it's been yeah. that way before. Obama okay. had it like that before. Okay, and uh, Trump had it like that. Okay, okay, okay. His first uh, term. His first two years of his first term. Okay. So, Ooh. yeah, you can, you can, I mean, things surprisingly still don't get done because even though they have the. The leadership, they don't agree on Yeah, shit. even though they, yeah, they, and you can always pull somebody onto your side because sometimes it's so close where it might be like 52 48. If you can just pull two. Mm, got it. Put some pressure on two of them to vote on your side, then there you go. Got um, it. Larry Elder. Is the black Republican? Oh, for real! Shout out to my nigga Larry Elder. Ah, oh, okay, I knew it was somebody, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Nikki Haley. Is oh, Nikki I like Nikki Haley. I she like she, uh, she like that's Joe Rogan and them like folks. Nikki Haley, all them like right wing get people that you can't tell if they racist or not yet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. that's that group. Right. Um. So yeah, I think Larry uh, Larry Elder is the only black person. Uh, nope, I lied. Um, Tim Scott. That's my boy, Tim. That's from South Carolina. Right. That's right. not yeah, my boy. Yeah, the South Carolina senator. He, yeah. He's filed. So I'm interested to see how these motherfuckers gonna be some hell of debates, receive, man. Because I like, I like the primary debates because it's just a nobody. You know, at first ones, it's like it'll be like 12 people up there, and no one knows who's gonna win. They're gonna be mm-hmm. out there attacking each other, and these the same people that donated to each other's, you know, campaigns yeah. at one point. Right. That's why Trump was so good that first time because. Everybody up there was a politician. And he's like, y'all accepted money from me, and now y'all don't fuck with me? <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> and, like, what can you say at that point? He's like, yeah, we did take your money, your And donation. that's dope, because he learned the game from the uh, from the bottom up. Like, right. I was a donor, now I'm in the seat. So I know how this works. I know this game. I know what y'all playing. I know what y'all doing. Mm-hmm. It's inter- it's all interesting to me. Not even from the bottom uh, In addition to the bottom up, like, he learned the back end. Like, we think about all the money that moves when it comes yeah. to, to politics. Like, there's a lot of things he could not say. But he's like, yeah. hey, y'all took my money. Yeah. And, and I probably yeah. did like, things for him right. with that money. Like, hey, I'm giving y'all this donation. I need Very this Very true, done. man. Ain't nobody taking my boy Donnie down, bro. But I don't yeah. know, man. This looking tight for Donnie. I think Donnie might Donnie actually down. be defeated for the first time in U.S. history. I mean, the second yeah. time, but, like, really, like, he's really it, done. Yeah. We'll I think see, he might man. really we'll be see. done. He got they, some affo- they keep trying to spear opponents. his name. He keep bouncing back. We ain't heard nothing. That's because the people, when the people love you, you you can't be, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, when the people love you, you can't be. And they go to killed. jail, hop out, and sell out a uh, damn airway. That nigga, <laughs> oh, CNN was under fire for giving him a podium to do that. Uh, oh, he did yeah, that the town hall. hall. They said like, they never yeah. doing another town hall. Yeah. Really? They, yeah. yeah. They was they got backlash for that. They well, they said they're going to do town hall, but no audience questions or something like that. It's going to oh, be like okay. questions that are sent in or they emails. They like that shit, boy. They were hot about that. Yeah, I, I mean, the people love that man. 
so shout and shout out to uh politico uh if anybody cares to follow they have it broken down to who's declared the contenders the maybes and who's ruled oh, out. out to politico okay so all right man um, now, side note my i've been doing a lot of presentations at my job lately my powerpoint okay. game to step the fuck up all right <laughs> right ted talk johnny man, yeah game. so if y'all need some powerpoints come holler at your boy <laughs> all right that was an ad for johnny's powerpoint <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. The Cash Out founder, uh, we got an update on that situation, man. I think we were right, man. The Cash Out founder, Bob Lee, was allegedly frequent in underground sex drug parties. Rich people gonna do rich people things. Facts. <laughs> uh, with San Francisco's elite, with the sister of Nima Momini. Now, we talked about this recently. We, I, we was trying to figure out, after a long night of partying, what would make a man stab you? <laughs> And if you've been boning his sister, that's possible. And his sister was married, and you married, so y'all having a full affair doing cocaine and going to sex parties. Or that Silicon Valley money, something else, man. Nigga, they got billions. Right, because the brother is part of like a smaller tech company, but he's still rich as shit. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're both in tech. He's in prison. (laughs) <laughs> well, but his prison more. suit look good, man. Yeah, like the the, the, the cuffs on oh, the yeah. orange oh, like, yeah. shirt, bro. Yeah. It's fresh. I was like, what prison they got in there? Yeah, you think Not about a prison it, that man. just it's like that. <laughs> it's like a whole bunch of tech companies that we don't even consider. Like we was in Toronto, we saw Zynga, the, oh, yeah, the gaming Zynga, app yeah. company. It's like yeah. they, they CEO probably a billionaire yeah, too. Yeah, you was like, yeah. what's well, Zynga? I know that one. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just like it's a whole bunch of small tech companies and they just money in tech, bro. Man, so listen. much. And they do some nasty shit apparently. I mean, shit, when you got all that money. Let me come out with an app. Mm, I don't mm-hmm. think I'd be into that. I wouldn't be into that lifestyle. I think, yeah, I don't, I like, these like nerds to get rich. Yeah, when you come from where we come from, that ain't what entice us. Right. We're not trying to get all that money. I just want somewhere I can duck parties. off. Honestly, if I got super rich like that, I just want somewhere I can duck off and I'll invite my people. But that's about like to come chill every now and again. But that's not it for me. I can't do the sex parties. I kind of could do the sex parties. <laughs> I was like, I'm fine with the sex party. It's just drugs. Yeah, I'm good with the drugs. I'm, I do the sex Keep party. Keep that shit. I'm good at the sex party. You come to my sex party? I'll be there. It's not, it's, I'm, I'm, I think I, I, I'm just going to have sex with my lady. And, and all the it. white women. I guess. Yeah, because you got background. You can watch everybody. Yeah, because the drugs yeah. is going to make me go I'm not, crazy. Ain't no drugs going to be in my like, sex party. Like, if I got the drugs, then okay, I'm about to partake with <laughs> all the women. I'm about to have a healthy vegan No, sex I'm going to have alcohol, <laughs> marijuana, mushrooms, and then I'll have Molly for people who want to Oh, do yeah, I'm partaking. If I that's do the Molly. case. <laughs> yes, I don't, I don't, need, to, great I don't need to Molly. be around that. So, but my sex parties would be limited to 10 dudes. Like, I don't even know 10 dudes. <laughs> so... Outside of you, James, and my boy, and my other, uh, and my other homeboy. What's the so. ratio? What women? Oh, it's right. like mad women. We talking about maybe upwards of 100 women? So. 100 women, 10 mm-hmm. dudes. That's yeah. going to be hellacious, bro. Yeah, it's kind of like the Sukihana video. You ever seen the Sukihana video? The, Pussy everywhere? Nah, I have not. That, put, that video go I've crazy. I've seen that yes, woman seen before. That video. that video go crazy. All right, man. I'll leave that one alone. Uh, <laughs> Adidas and Kanye came to an agreement. Here we go. And so this week, we will be having our first drop of the Yeezy backstop. Kanye will receive 50% of profit uh, in a commission, and a portion will go to the ADL. Um, so that will happen this I know, week. It's Kanye walking around with the chest out. out oh, yeah, he now. won. Kanye yeah, won. He walking around with the Kanye chest out. Kanye won. He told you they couldn't do that with him. Yeah. They can't do that. It's nothing. always like, I love to see that. Um, it's a fighter, uh, Nick Diaz, in the UFC, and they try to set him up for his last fight, so he lose. Because he wanted to become a free agent. He didn't want to resign with the UFC, but they wanted to put him up against this monster. So when he loses, his value drops. He ended up riding it out. He said, shit, I'll fight that nigga. If he didn't win in a fight, and then like he just got, I think he just signed on to fight Jake Paul for like 20 million or something <laughs> like that. And uh, all lies, but baby. yeah, it's like people like that that just they stick to their guns no matter what the, the machine yeah. is. And they end up winning. That's a hell of a story, man. Shout out to Kanye. No, Kanye did that shit, man. And uh, it's alleged that he bought a building right across from the California offices for whatever he's got planted. Uh, Kanye may have lost his mind, man, but he still... He's he just got married, I heard. Yeah, yeah. he's married to that young, uh, skinny white woman. I don't know her name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I seen some uh, video of a dude trying to holler at her and get a phone number. Kim Kardashian. Uh, look alike. Now, she don't look like him at all. The body? With her makeup? The new From one? a distance, I saw her yeah. breast. I saw her breasticles. They was pretty big. Oh nah. <laughs> well, maybe we looking at the wrong one. This lady, she remind me of like Miley Cyrus. She was real small, like not. 
thick. I mean, yeah, up close, like, like in that Kate video. Kate Winslet's small. Yeah, yeah, in the video, she doesn't look like yeah, what her. What was the other girl, Julia Fox? And then the girl he had right after Kim definitely looked just like Kim. I think that was on purpose. Do yeah. you, Kanye, do you even need a woman? Not really. This is, I mean, he might, man. Kanye can't be lonely. <laughs> seems like he needs somebody to talk to sometimes. So I think that's why he has a woman in his life. Kanye I got needs these to figure ideas. out why he's feeding them kids sushi. At that school, that's what he need to figure out. All right, man, he swept that under the rug, man. Right, we ain't heard shit else about it. He swept that shit under the rug. Um, y'all think Jay Z got a secret kid? I would. I mean, at this point, <laughs> no. But I mean, I wouldn't put it past him because he did do some stuff. But I want Jay Z. I don't see Jay Z so not bad. taking like responsibility. For his yeah, kid. yeah. I just don't see that. Even I, if he had one, he would just. I feel like he would still take care of her, but NDA out the ass. Well, I think the reason why he's why his team have been going so hard against this particular woman um, is because if that is his child, yes, that's his child, that's his son, and this is a grown ass man, so it's not like we're talking about some little boy. They've been trying to get his DNA for a long time. They trying um, to duplicate Jay Z. That's all conspiracy. If it's if that's his son, because he, you know, they kind of favor, I guess. I think what comes with it is the fact that the woman was so adamant that she was 15 at the oh. time of conception. Mm. And Jay-Z, being in his early 20s, was aware of that. Ah. And so that's why his team is like, you got, like, they've really been fighting it because it's like, it's not just the fact he has a secret son. Like, motherfuckers have sons all the time. It's the fact that she has made it very clear, like, I was 15. He knew I was 15. And yes, we were fucking. So she's like, Damn, nigga, Carl Malone. I didn't read that, man, but um, yes. damn, that's crazy. Yeah, that, yeah. now yeah. the story, the the story is spicy. The kid's name is uh, Ramir Shadowsweight or something like that. He's 30. I got to hear him talk. That'll sell it, too. If you sound like Hov. Hey, yo, I, I swear a nigga be my father. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if that lady, is she, did it say if she was L or I thought alien? she died or something. Or she passed? Nah, but this oh. is not the first time. Uh, she might have passed. Uh, she said she hooked up with Jay-Z before he became a superstar. Um, they tried in court before to get the money. I did read that. Uh, she did. Uh, now he just wants to be claimed. I don't think yeah. right right now he's saying he don't want no money. I remember he Trey Songz did an interview. He said that he got to take a paternity test like once a month just because people claiming that he got them pregnant. See, that's the only but downfall. But see, if you stop fucking happened. and being nasty, you wouldn't have to do that. You could say, <laughs> no, I was celibate between the months of this and right, this, and yeah. I wasn't doing that. But you, well, Do you have to, like, if someone say you did they dad, do you have to take the no. test? No, nah, you uh, gotta uh, take that test. No. no. no that's Especially right. if you know for sure. Because, I mean, people... Uh, especially with like Michael Jackson, they did that to him for a while um, when he first, you know, blew up, and it was yeah. like he was like, nah, like he was very much. I I'm like, not, I like bussy. Not doing all that. No, <laughs> that's ain't, not no way. Ain't, no way. <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't no way. It's not possible. <laughs> yeah, this nigga's wild. Um, <laughs> yo, that's crazy. Is Megan good with Jonathan Majors? Is that a real thing? I think so, bro. They seen traveling together recently, man. And I mean, why well, they not? But they get together though. Boy, I mean, let me tell you something. <laughs> you talk about two people with nice ass bodies. That's probably some glorious looking shit to see. I have found out <laughs> Megan Good you smoke cigarettes. I can believe that. I can believe that. Wow. Yeah, that shit fucking Cousin me up. Skeeter, Megan Good definitely yes. smoking cigarettes. Really? Yeah, I can see that. Young girl, California smoking cigarettes for sure. Okay. That's that the thing. That's the thing to do. Caught me off yeah. guard. I was like, "What?" I can see that. I don't. Not now, now, but I think back in the day when she was young, teeny bopper, she I probably was smoking it, cigarettes. Man. I ain't either, man. People was kind of upset about that. It's talking about, you know, I don't know what people want from people anymore. It's like y'all was mad at the guy saying that the white woman lied on him. Uh, now he with a black woman that y'all love and, and cherish. Yeah, yeah. And now it's like, girl, why you dating him? Who y'all want him to date? Y'all want him to go beat up the white women? Oh, y'all want me to go beat up the black woman? Okay, don't beat up nobody. Okay, never mind. That was real bad. <laughs> that was bad don't analogy. Beat up right, bad analogy, but you get what I'm saying. It's like can't win for losing sometimes with this uh, world. You can't. Not when you got fans. Like they gonna yeah. Be, yeah. What that nigga saying? Air. They gonna build you up to be who they but want you to be. But people have selective outrage too. So it's like, That's very what true. the fuck are you Shout mad about? Rock. Like at the end of the day, what are you really mad about? This man, allegations or not, he still has bills to pay. He still has a life to live. And you can't hold it to where, why he going after her? Hell, she's a grown-ass woman. Right. A, a divorced grown-ass woman. Like, she's still young. Right. So it's like, no, I'm, I'm interested in people him. People so quick. 
And they I'm going to be the on white, date. They said because the white lady burnt him. That's why he's going out there. He's going back to black. I mean, that could be it. And, said, you know, if that's the case, then why? they said, like, why every time y'all y'all fall down, now y'all want to run to us. Why we wasn't the first option? Black women is well, hurt Well, you know online. what? I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> you weren't the first option. And he's, he, you know, but he's still coming back. Kind of like Tisha Campbell and House from, Party. That's yeah. a black man from Texas, though. Do we know that black women were not his first option? Have we polled all the people he's dealt with? You know we have we, we can only go off of what he's seen. People be public. so quick to judge, but you in two paternity cases. The, you in your regular life, you having two paternity <laughs> cases. You fighting your baby daddy to get child support. But you so quick to point you know to a celebrity and judge them it just don't make no sense yeah handle what's going on in your life like Damn. i yeah I, as crazy. long as they happy and he ain't putting his hands on nobody it is what it is so should gabrielle union have told us that she's paying half of the i piece. want gabrielle <laughs> union to shut the fuck up i mean that's another thing too it's like i feel like there's rich people issues and i i can't speak on it let me say i mean let's say if i made like five hundred thousand and my wife made a hundred k all right and I can handle the bills. I mean, I guess it's just between us what we would want to do. Yeah, that's true. Yes. That's true. You know, but I mean, I don't see a problem with me paying the bills in that situation yeah. if the bills are suitable for a $500,000 lifestyle. No, I feel it. But okay. I mean, it's not our decision to make. It's they household. Right. But people were so quick to speak on that. That's what my issue was. she said it, though, it just she, sounded like they got one account. So they kind of like are half and half. You, you guys yeah. put, we all put our money in a pot. And we're the only two putting money in the right. pot. Yeah. Then therefore, that is 50-50. Right. Yeah, you don't know I what put they money tax, in and you put money in. You don't right. know what their tax situations look like. Like, Facts. maybe they have to do it for this reason. So yeah. they don't look like they're not making this amount of money. You and never it, know. It's not, and and it's also, the newsflash, they don't pay no fucking bills. <laughs> it's a nigga that work for them and write checks for them. True. They don't pay a damn well, thing. Well, <laughs> I don't know that because she also <laughs> talked about her fear of not having it or it all going away. So she, rich. she may have more of hands on when it comes to their money. She, but she could, but her husband got a day, hell of a pension. It's her, that, that whatever works for them. That's works a hell for them. of a pension. I just don't like the, the top fact 75 that, NBA player ever, but people are taking this Never as, Oh, well, Gabrielle union is, is paying 50, 50. What I just didn't appreciate is the same Lace front, bald headed females. Not all of y'all. I see y'all. a lot of them yesterday. Ugh. Where shout out to the lace front. Ugh. Right, y'all were out there saying, "I want a soft life." A man got to pay this, 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 and then you were the same women, and I, I, I know one in particular. You were under the same particular uh, video with Gabrielle Union talking about how you don't mind paying X, Y, Z. Well, no. Two, two, three weeks ago, you just said you wanted a man to pay for everything. So it's like don't I, talk about Mandy like that. <laughs> why you don't like Mandy bro no not at all not at all I just don't understand why it's even necessary to have a conversation like let Me them either. do them so I know. I yeah get out of other, other people's business also. these are a ha- happily married couple seems like it yeah. but we always judging them we talk about their parenting ish like co- we question their parenting don't cut his dick we, off man. <laughs> right <laughs> like we question their parenting <laughs> we question everything about them the, they had this he had the side baby on the break baby on her we had opinions on that. But if that's something they talked about behind closed doors, what's it to us? I think it's more so like, what would we do in these situations? More so like, right, because I know really a lot of people is. talk and will do the same thing. Like, fact, like, what he doing with his son, I could never do. I, I applaud him. I don't know what I would do. I would still be in the crib trying to figure out answers. Yeah, for like, sure. So I salute him for that, man. Yeah, uh-huh. and then the break baby, they was getting on her. Why you taking that man back? And half of y'all is definitely taking the nigga back with the break baby. Facts. Right, man, stop it. Stop it. Facts. Stop it. That's ludicrous. Hey, that nigga don't got married. no... He ain't on any type of level of D-Way that you taking him back. Uh, no. This, matter of he's fact, still he's still driving your car. He below the nigga that you won't <laughs> give a chance. Yeah. <laughs> baby, now I need to borrow the car. I need to... Uh, <laughs> Need to get across town, and he's still paying you half, and he's still staying at your crib rent free, not even paying half. Right. So fuck half and half. Can you get half from the nigga who's sleeping <laughs> on your fucking couch for free that's all the, the time? That's what I'm saying. It's that's like, why story. do people have so many? Y'all have the, the, real the opinions is, about shit. Why? why does sex make everything so accessible for broke people? This ain't a man, woman. <laughs> this ain't. A, I'm not gonna make it men. Because I'm pretty sure there's a woman out here with the bomb sex just getting by, no job, Facts. McDonald's. Nigga just take, like, bro, what are you seeing her? What, 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 what does she do for you? What does she bring to the table? Make you feel good. And I'm, and we all know that man on the other landscape, like, you just go. I think Summer Walker said on the little EP, what makes you go crazy for dick? 
Like, Who knows, man? What makes you go crazy for the sex of a person that you let things being, slide? Being loved, maybe. It's the feeling of being loved. I don't it's, know. I think it's an age thing. I think at my age, I can't like, I can't let that slide from a woman, and I don't expect a woman to let that slide from me. Like, hey, nigga, what's your plan? All right? Right. If you don't come stay with me rent free, what is your plan? Yeah. If I, and also, and if, if you're you helping it, yeah, you helping a man out, let him stay at your house. Why not help him out? On the other end, like let's sit down while you here. Let's sit down and get your finances right. Straight, yeah. yeah. Don't let, me, let the nigga live let off me have, you. Yeah, let me help you with your resume. <laughs> are you even looking for jobs? Yeah. If you're borrowing my car, can you just leave, let let me right. know? Are you, you going to look for jobs in my car? <laughs> At least put some gas in the tank, bro. <laughs> that too, Tyrese. You gave it back to me on E. <laughs> Like, you, if you go let the man do that, at least help him out on the other aspects of your yeah, life, yeah. of his life. Both both sides of the coin, man. Right. That's my tip to women this week. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. You got to let the man move in. You got to let the man That's move in. That's my tip in. to y'all fellas, too, man. Make sure make sure you give value out of, out of your woman, man. All right. Uh, All right, in sports, Johnny, you my sports man, because I don't really watch a lot of basketball. Uh, yeah. So right now, Lakers down three zero. God damn, Can they can they pull it off? Can they come back? Never been done. It's been 149 teams down 3-0. and haven't none of them won the series. Mm. But it may, if it is anybody that can do it, it's LeBron James, right? So we'll see. He's old though. He's tired. You can tell that. The yeah, fourth quarters tired. come. He looked drained. The other team looked drained too, but not as drained as him. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, if they do lose the series. That still, to me, was a successful season because that team sucked at the beginning of the year. And the fact that they could make it that far and go up against a team in the Denver Nuggets that's really been the best team in the league for like the last three, four years, they just yeah. never got over the hump. Hats off to LeBron, but I know he wanted the ring. But, you know, we'll see, man. It's possible. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people want the ring for him. I still never uh, seen a player so hated. I was at the bar watching the game last night, and, like, people like to watch him lose. I yeah. don't get the Floyd Mayweather I, effect. Yeah, they he's just, so good. People only watching to see if you're gonna fail. Like, hey guys, you know that dude is rushing on the other team, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what the hell joke <laughs> is. He close to he's some Western or Eastern European. He's going right to Vladimir Putin as soon as he wins. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. Yeah, uh, but we're wishing the best of luck. And then Miami looked like they're gonna put Boston out too. We'll uh, see. yeah, that's an eight seed, right? Yeah, eight seed. That would have been interesting to have an eight and a seven in the finals. Right, right. That'd been probably a first, maybe. Definitely. Yeah, and the NBA is not one for parity a lot. So yeah, it's hard. This year was a little different. I don't know. I think that play in has like starting to settle in. I think people get used to that play in. Mm-hmm. And uh, that play in game is, uh, yeah, that changed because I think they were. I think they were the eight seed. I think uh, when they came into the playoffs, Miami? I think that, yeah, I think they okay. were the eight. But yeah, man, that play in will change your life. I mean, I guess we see. We have to see. Was the second year with it? Yeah. Second year with it? Um, no, third, third. Third? Yeah, third year. This started the first in year, the pandemic? Or? The year after the pandemic. So this, so is, this is the third season after the pandemic. Yeah. All right. No, this is actually the f- f- second after the pandemic, 2022. No, this first season after the pandemic. Pandemic in last year. Well, I'm talking about the bubble. That's what I oh, mean. Oh, the bubble. Yeah, bubble. Oh, I mean. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, man. So Heat versus Nuggets. You think, you, would you watch that? Do you want to watch that? Mm. I'm going for uh, the Heat if that happens. I'm going for whoever played the Nuggets if that happens. But uh, I'm definitely going for the Heat if that happens. I wouldn't care as Down much as Russia. seeing LeBron win one. That's that's the reason I would watch and see LeBron win one, uh, or just the Lakers versus the Celtics, the rivalry. That's the only reason I would be watching the finals. The Nuggets, I, I'm not too keen on. I don't care. What does LeBron need to be considered better than Mike? At this point, I don't think anything is going to be consensus. That everybody gonna be like, that's it. That he did that. Now that's it. Because even if he was somehow to get to seven rings, people are still gonna say he lost, and look, they will say Jordan could have won two more if he mm. didn't retire. Like I feel like it's always gonna be the argument there. So I don't know what he could do. Mm. Um, if he won another one, it would definitely make a better case for him. But like still to this day, people still say he's the best player. So it's just gonna be that argument, and I don't think it's gonna be a third person in that picture for a while. I think. Uh Watching Air made me realize, like, yeah, Michael Jordan was, like, that first great uh, basketball player. Um, but, I don't know, being able to see t- 20 years of LeBron James, Jesus Christ. Right, 
Right. Um, somebody do it night in, night out, not really miss a lot of games, just now becoming more injury prone, um, playing yeah. in a different era. He played through, like, he, the, he had to win championships when things changed. Right. When the game changed. It was a post game, and then it went to the three point game, the run and gun game. It's just like he I had was to watching win through errors. An old Heat game, and mm-hmm. this was only like 10 years ago, maybe yeah. 11 years ago now, but. The end of the game, neither one of the Celtics or the Heat didn't have 100 points. No, nobody would score <laughs> over 100 points back then. Which is I, crazy. I brought that up uh, And LeBron last, had 40. I brought that up <laughs> last night watching the game. I said, yo, Michael was scoring 35 in games that ended with like 80, 90 points. Nobody's really shooting threes. He was making 15 shots a game. No matter how he made them, he was making that many shots. Like, it, it, I don't know. It's just, I I hate, uh, I, always, I always, I just hate that. Michael Jordan's legend weighed weighs so heavy over LeBron James. When I look at the career, I like I got to sit here and watch the whole career. Um, we seen the best player in the league actually speak up for hit the people that he represents. I think that was a game changer. You know, you know that's true. Too. Never seen that with an athlete. And it's always like switch switch the eras and see who did who does better too. Like, oh yeah, yeah. That's another argument. That's, like the '90s were very competitive, but I mean it's super competitive now with analytics and things like that. It's um it's harder to repeat like they do. I think the athletes are better now. I think they're faster. I think they're quicker. They're definitely not doing as much liquor and drugs as they was. In they the don't 90s. do anything that's gonna slow them to down. To Michael Jordan credit, he did the liquor and drugs too. So it's not like that was an advantage for him. <laughs> I, yeah, but he was also a gym rat. He was the first of the gym rats. He yeah. was the first of the guys that said, "All right, let me put on some muscle mass so when I go play Detroit, I don't die." Like, yeah, he, that's, he was, that's the Kobe he was the mentality. first of those. So I I don't know I I'm just interested I just always wanted to know like what would it take for LeBron James to be considered the greatest player to ever play basketball because honestly I've never seen score hundred points in a game yeah well Jordan could have did it man but see back <laughs> right then, I was gonna say that ain't gonna change shit <laughs> he had to play forty minutes to that like I don't know um, all okay. right man John ja- ja Morant was caught with a gun on live again pray for my boy bro um bro I'm out of prayers <laughs> for John ja Morant. Hey, why is it so bad though? Like, if, if, what if he had a permit for the gun? I don't know if he don't have a permit for the you gun. Still, but if, you're supposed to be a role model, bro. So you can't have a gun because you, you're a role you model. You can have a gun, and you could probably permit, promote gun safety. And yeah, hey, I like guns. I'm a gun enthusiast. But the way this nigga doing it is like he, a, I'm gonna shoot you. Like the way he waving it, like yeah. that's that knuck of you buck shit. I don't know. Something inside of me says play into it. I would be okay with that. Like I said, if he goes the gun enthusiast route, let's say I'm a gu- I like collect guns. This is my favorite gun. I'm always posting the yeah, guns I like. I, but this is how he posting it, bro. Lip bumping NBA young boy. I've, I I feel like he could play this a different way. If if because guns aren't illegal, he had somebody it's not illegal for you to have one. Go ahead. His then dad. Yes, he could play this a different way. And that's another thing I don't like. He has an active father. <laughs> how the fuck? But you always take it back there. Are you this <laughs> ignorant with an active father? That's very but true. But who's, who's to say his dad is not, you know, in his ass behind the scenes? Yeah, like, what the fuck y'all got? It. What the of fuck you got course. going on? That's again. That's but this getting... is not behavior suspected of a man. Like, this is how people expect LeBron to act. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because he only had a mother. Kind of like Allen Iverson did act because he only had a mother. <laughs> right. So, like, when you see a person with a complete family be stupid, you're like, as a black man, I can't speak for white America. They might not even know anything about this. But as a black man who come from a single parent home, you look at it like, and you tell us that our moms being married and having fathers in the home would have made us better people when I see this man's dad at every game. And he, something wrong with him. Like, I would never do that, but all right, whatever. I would have definitely liked to see. So, to me, if you fuck up in this way, you just got out of trouble for fucking up in a similar fashion. So why not, if that video went viral, immediately PR mode, I would have captured that video as John Morant and took that snippet where he waving a gun and do like a record stop and step in. Hey, kids, <laughs> this is what you shouldn't do on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's like, the flip. I, That's how you flip it. So. <laughs> So then, so then you still are, you know, you may have gotten in trouble for the video, the first half of whatever, but being able to flip it to make it something more of a, of a teaching moment and jumping in front of this, 
you wouldn't have got reprimanded the way you did because people are, are, are upset, which I, I can get. You know, why is he held to the standard? Why is he suspended? And I think they were circulating um, a former NBA player who has all these pictures with guns. I don't, I can't remember his name right now, um, but some white guy. And it's like, one, you have to adhere to the guidelines of your job. This is your job. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you got all this money. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. If, I was more pissed off the fact that you stand on top of this car. I love cars. Why the fuck is your sneakers on the car? Just That's stupid to me. He was but, on top of the car with a gun? Well, the, like the first part of the video, he was on top of the car. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it then was it, just... they were in the car. Like, it was just a... Yeah, he only flashed the video for a little, I mean, the gun for a little bit. His yeah. Yeah. They just in there wilding. Yeah, his friend did try to his turn the phone. His friend was like, like oh, nigga, what you doing, bro? <laughs> I'm on live. Like, right. God. So you just out here being dumb, not realizing. Sorry, I, no, why he posted? I get it. You have to, you have a job. And who posted it? The friend, right? Well, I think it was just live and people captured it. Oh. That fast? So they just capture it as well, you go? Because he, he caught it quick. He could have just ended the live and deleted it. It's you, people that sit around and, and face like say, screen, screen capture screen. lives okay. screen. all day. Yeah. That's their job. Okay. And then they submit shit that they find to like TMZ and stuff like that. Damn, right. I was going to say TMZ does that. They mm-hmm. actually have a team that they follow celebrities and they just screen yeah. their lives. Follow their social like, media. Yeah. And they try to run it back and find whatever details or do whatever. Um, so yeah, I think unfortunately he got caught. Right. So that's why the friend turned it towards his shoulder. And it's like, I want to say shout out to the friend, but it's like, bruh, if you care enough to do that, you need to care enough to have a conversation. Like why you even got this little pistol in the car? I, f- I feel like he was like, I don't know. You know your friends. Damn, bro, you tripping, bro. I was on live. Damn, man, they going to catch me. Like, uh, okay. I hate it for my, I Honestly, I would just lean into the bad guy role. Fuck it, nigga. You done got caught twice with a gun. It's, it is what it is. You're a thug, nigga. Be the thug. Be the thug. But you're not a thug. Like, he don't want to be, be that. one. You be got one. you got dyed dreads, nigga. Be, be one. <laughs> Professionally dyed dreads. Well, he's right. like, thugs look different nowadays. They that is true. Like I seen one the other day. I was going to say, then like, we had a whole conversation about Dennis Rodman, how his yeah. color hair back in the day was this big thing. And yeah, now everybody color their hair. Like, oh, wow. whoop de doo I can't even imagine uh, OBJ with normal hair. Like, what does that I look like? I forgot about OBJ. <laughs> yeah. He didn't, I think. I think OBJ was, got some good looking hair. Them curls was curling. <laughs> he got a pen. He, what do you I don't know. What he, I think he got a cut now, right? Yeah, it's still good. Yeah. It's still good. That uh, nigga Spanish? He the Dominican or something? I thought he was black. Oh, uh, maybe he is. He yeah. got some good gray hair, though. Um, aha, you doing the hell with your people do to you? Aha. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, man, this week, Doc Rivers got fired from his job as a 7 6 coach. We saw that coming. Uh, peace out, Doc. Man, Doc, give up, man. Shit. Yeah, if well, you, you ain't got, more, if you ain't got Rajon Rondo, you ain't winning one, Doc. Yeah, you got the ch- you already got a, you got you got one ring. You, you need good. Rondo, bro. We see or Talu because Talu is his assistant. Yeah, man. So either it's Talu or Rondo that's winning these games for Doc. Really, <laughs> it ain't Doc. <laughs> yeah. Now give KG and them go for Doc though on the little podcast they got. Yeah. They they always yo they they are got they heads up for Doc. They love Doc. Could be, and, then, and I think Harton is the reason he got fired too. They said Harton wasn't coming back if Doc was the coach. So I, I, I honestly don't think I, like I said this before. I don't see James Harden being that guy that takes you to a championship. I see James Gar- Harden being that player on the team that wins a championship, but he can't be that guy. Right. The best bet was with Brooklyn when he could have been the third man on the team. Let Kyrie and KD handle things. They just couldn't get healthy. And Steve Nash was a horrible and coach. It was weird because Brooklyn was having a hell of like before the season ended. I was looking at Brooklyn like, all right, they got this. Yeah. They got this. They was having... Sh- but, all right. Oh, Devin Haney v. Uh, Vasily Lomachenko last night in a boxing match. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was right. That was last night. That was last night, man. Shout out to Devin Haney. All right, lightweight division looking good. He looked good, man. Yeah. yeah. I seen him on the pivot. He cool. He cool. I should have watched the interview this week. It, it was I'm glad because I always wanted to hear his interview because he, real, he, he, like, he a real devout Muslim. Word. So I wanted to hear him talk about that, and I'm glad to ask him some questions about that. Slaykum salam, my brother. Um, when I'm out there uh, boxing, <laughs> all praises do Allah. Um, also, man, last but not least, Martha Stewart would be the oldest woman to well, grace the good. cover of Sports Illustrated. God, she look good? Hell yeah, bro. Martha Stewart's been sexy for a minute, though. Like, ever since she got out of jail... She been like, yo, she been serving. She been serving. Is that a she black serving. people thing? Like somebody go in due time and now we attracted the to glow them? up, bro. The glow like, up. I'm like, damn, you did time, huh? She Shit. be serving face, I think is what they say. Who Martha Martha like, Yeah. You, you think uh, Snoop popped them buns? 
<laughs> I do. I think do. about that too. I'm like, he probably done fucked a few times. Hey, Martha, I don't chill think out. so. I think they legit have like a Just good friends. A good. This ain't father son at this like, age. Sisterly, uh, brotherly yeah. friendship. I, like I can see that. That's how uh, our gym owner and his uh, gym manager are. Yeah, like it's just you know older yeah. sister. Not, they not, like brother. I'm not saying they're not like that. They're doing that. I'm just saying they just good yeah. friends. Like it's a, a weird relationship, but they good friends. You can tell. Mm-mm. I appreciate the fact that she was like, I'm not getting plastic surgery on my face. Martha I'm, Stewart got yeah. At this point, I'm aging. She was like, I'm aging gracefully. Is I'm, Martha married? I don't think so. I don't so. think so. All right, man, we'll go to these awards. Why wouldn't you? You yeah. probably got, yeah. probably like, Oprah. She probably got like a senior boyfriend, like Oprah. Oprah boyfriend. Oprah boyfriend. Oprah boyfriend. Oprah boyfriend. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, awards, man. Real niggas of the week, man. Now, um, if you ever been down to Atlanta, man, one thing I always suggest to people, man, don't risk it with the parking. Pay to park because they are quick to tow it. They are quick to boot. Well, these ladies are down in Atlanta serving justice for people getting people's boots off cars because the boot and shit is damn near predatory i got a boot story of my own yep. um somebody actually gave me their parking space and said, hey listen i got two hours left on this space i've already paid for it you can have it came out 15 minutes later was booted i was told that that's against the rules you need to buy your own ticket you can't take someone, uh, uh, some someone's ticket. That was a setup, though. That was they get. They knew that. Yeah. Oh, I was about to say yes. That That's was why predatory. It's predatory. Yeah. And now that I look back on it, years later, I'm like, damn, we should have challenged that shit. Yeah. But because um, it's like, bro, how y'all? Because y'all saw the exchange. Yeah. On the ticket sale. You Which makes just, me think that's part of the scam. And I think the booters and the tourists have nothing to do with the lot. And they're separate entities. The lot gets yeah. money. And a lot hires you, but you're trying to make as much money as you can because what if everybody pays, you don't get no money. But that's why, like, now, um, parking-wise, you it captures your license plate so people can't do oh, that. Oh, they do that over at the uh, Optimus Hall now, I think. Right, so Optimus Hall, you have to do it. Um, even when you go to Music Factory and you pay mm-hmm. to park in the uh, garage or when you text whatever, it asks for your license plate. I just uh, realized... Um, the what is it the parking garage beside museum of illusions they have i don't know if you guys noticed whenever you get a ticket it has your license plate there's a camera that's behind the car when you're pulling into a garage so now they capture that so you can't just pass it off all right let me run this clip Hmm. capes but in atlanta ski masks you're mad no you cannot take this off ma'am they call themselves the boot girls and they got the keys the boot keys. Almost all the boots in Atlanta. They s- oh man, my internet's crazy. <laughs> Hoop in and take off your boot for the low. We will do over <laughs> 20 a day. And as they go viral on TikTok, police are now on their heels. But they're telling the shade room, catch me if you can. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. That's $1,000 a day. Listen, man, shout out to those superheroes. That's a hustle. A, a, a G a day. You work five days a week. That's 5000 I don't know how much that is. Nah. That's nah. like 200000 a year? I don't know. My math ain't all there. That's a lot of that's a lot of money to be made. I know to take a boot off a car, I think I think somebody said two fifty one time. Mm-hmm. Take a boot off a car. It's just as much as trying to get it off the truck. Like once they, If they're towing your car and once they get it up on the truck, They'll charge you two fifty if they if you. Oh yeah, they used to take it down. kill that in Greensboro. Yes, it's sir. already on the truck, bro. That's like I've I, seen legit, they will put the car up there and sit there because they know like the person gonna come out and be like, "What do I gotta do to get it off off your yeah. bed?" They be like two fifty. What happened when they take it though? I ain't never had to. When they take it, so they when they take it, you have to go. I had this shit happen um, uptown, and it happened in the middle of the night. Huh, no fun times, but you gotta go to the actual place and I don't know if it's changed now but back then um, this was what 2007 mm-hmm. it was cash only so I had to go get cash like 350 cash then go over there oh so you got to go pay them to get your car back right mm-hmm. and, and like I had to get taken over there and pick um, pick my car up so let's say you don't have the money they keep it. They then charge they keep you daily. it, and they charge you daily for it being for it being in their lot. So what happens if you never come get the car? Then that's their car. That's their car. After they sell it for parts. Mm-hmm. But how is that legal? I know, right? 
you, <sighs> you kind of stole my car and then you won't give it back. You can go to like, court for it. What's the legalities it? behind this? But it's like, if you can afford to go to court for it, then you can afford to get your car out. Oh, uh, man. I would afford to prove a point. But yeah, you're right. Some places, if your tag's bad, they won't give it back until you come show and prove that you got your updated that is tags true also. and shit. If I've they heard. tell you and your tags are bad, then they have the right per the state to hold your vehicle until you get your tags current and pay them to get your car. That's yeah. crazy. It, just, it don't make no sense. It bro. really don't. It's so fucking stupid. They get people, that bro. And it's like, really you're already charging niggas arm and leg for parking. And then you go park. Like, it's... I think they were going like I know in Charlotte they were like fighting those tow truck companies for a minute. That's crazy. All right, man, dunce metal. <laughs> this one goes out to Marjorie Taylor Green. Let's take let's shouting at the top of his lungs, cursing, calling me a horrible, ne- calling me a white supremacist, which I take great offense to. That is like calling a person of color the N-word, which should never happen. Calling me a white supremacist is equal to that, and that is wrong. Jamal Bowman was down there cursing at me, telling me to get the F out of there. And he was leading the mob right outside the vehicle I was sitting in. We- Man, she sound like Karen. Why, why white people don't hear what they say? <laughs> hey, you are like running shit, ma'am. Don't tell me I'm running shit and I'm doing, I don't know. I don't know how we'd use, white supremacist is not a offensive term. Yeah, it's not a, uh, it's a term used to describe uh, a system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not nigger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit is offensive and but derogatory. It's, it's everybody a, wanna feel something. Right. That I was just everybody say that wanna everyone be offended. wants to be offended to a degree. Um, the same way women are offended because you call them Karen's now. Mm-hmm. And it's just like if you know, while it is something that we made up, if you're acting a certain way, then you are adhering to what aligns is you acting like a Karen white supremacy is just that it's been around it's been there it's a factual thing so if i'm calling it out i'm not being everybody want to be oppressed until it's time to really be oppressed then you don't want to be oppressed anymore right like get the fuck out of here man uh person of the week all right man i saw this um i think they're still trying to figure out if she actually does have a real record but a nigerian chef uh hilda bossy she cooked for, broke the world record for the uh, uh, cooking the longest. She did a hundred hours straight dude, I, damn, damn, in the slave. kitchen, bro. <laughs> that thing thick too. God damn! Why is she cooking like that? <laughs> she I wanted to break the that. world record, so the, I think the previous world record. Shout was out to you, Queen. Just yeah. under her time. But yeah, I heard you could like pull up and get food, like while she was cooking. Yeah, she was making it for like the community, like yeah. she was cooking for people. Straight up, Joe Loff off the pan. All right, man, it's been episode two hundred fifty-seven, man. Um, real quick, rest in peace to Jim Brown. And I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> um, civil rights leader, uh, he played for the Cleveland Browns, right? Yeah, yeah. Cleveland, Ohio legend. I think that's the last time they won something. Was uh, when, when he Jim Brown was there. Yeah. yeah. Y'all got closing remarks? You think when OJ die that someone's gonna say rest Damn. in peace OJ Simpson? Like people gonna like make a make it a deal? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. Black people, we we don't fuck with OJ or nah. Cause we fucked with him when he won that case. But at this point, he's just comedy for us, so we might. I I'm definitely gonna say, rest in peace to OJ. Cause let me tell you something. A lot of people said they ain't fuck with R. Kelly, but when they threw R. Kelly on three and yesterday, times yo, yesterday, I said that. Niggas I said was that. Rocking. And I, I said, was oh, like, d- yes. I thought y'all said we were. Yeah, well, you say nah. it was politically <laughs> correct <laughs> outside. <laughs> when they threw that kills on, it went crazy. I was like, yo, I tap, I tap fair. It's hard not to though. I tap fair. I say, yo, they about to hit a kill. Scene. They stepping in the name of love scene. out yeah. here. As soon as they hit that kill, say, come on, step in the name of love. I'm, right. so I'm never gonna cancel that song. It's hard to cancel R. Kelly and really awesome. mean it, cause it's like, damn man, that nigga can get the party started. All right. It's like he can get the party started, he can get the bedroom started, started. Yeah, he man. can get you preaching, now, he can get say, church started. When they played "Remind Me of My Jeep," that was kind of cringy for me. I was like, mm. <laughs> like now, since the documentary, like now I know what the yeah. lyrics mean. I was like, eh. yeah, but at the same time. You remind me of my jig. I mean, it, it, it's, it's Kells. But I will, uh, I, I guess my closing remarks, if anybody wants to, you know, volunteer to teach me the Tamiya line dance, please do. Yo, I was mad about that, too. Because <laughs> I'm mad about that, too. I can't get that shit that to save my life. That album was fire. And here it is, 2023, <laughs> and y'all love that fucking song. Which that one? Album. Close the door. Yeah. Uh, the song oh, by they himself. Got a song, they got a dance sure? to it? Yeah. yeah. That song old as fuck. Mm. I got that song off your computer. Did you even <laughs> listen to the album? 
I just was downloading shit. I love Tamia, and I, that's one of my favorite songs. So when they came, you know, what's it's the, my favorite Tamia album. It's a line dance crew to be on YouTube. They make like all, cause they did the the Jamie Fox uh, line dance. He got a line dance Damn, too. Damn. Mm-hmm. What song? Um, I don't want to. No, I don't need it. What's the, what's oh, I don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a hot song. It's a bunch of twirls. And I can't get that one either. But. I got to look that up. I got to look that up. Oh, Shad, we, we mentioned Tamia. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and her and Grant Hill, they got kids. Like, they together, right? Yeah, I, they're yeah, still married. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dog. I seen their daughter is like an MMA fighter now. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Uh, John, you got closing remarks? Man, you know what I'm saying? Nothing. Um, <laughs> you know, I'll be, I'll be one year older probably next time y'all hear me. Hey. Oh, yeah, man. It's Johnny's birthday week, man. Happy birthday to Johnny. Um, I hope they do something fun for you, man. <laughs> you know, sir. What they always we'll do? See. They always Throat do. Throat closing up, man. Allergies acting up. Shit, man. I'm with you. I'm <laughs> with you, man. Hey, listen, man. If you're watching us right now, man, hit the subscribe button, man. We appreciate you rocking with us today. You can find this show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and SoundCloud. Um, other than that, man, James will be back next week, man. I'm signing off for D. I'm signing off for James. I'm signing off for Jukebox Johnny, man. We want you guys to love the life that you live and the people in it. Find be positive in every situation and live in the moment because this life is not forever. I'm your boy Jumpman Jones, and we're going to talk to y'all on the next episode, man. See y'all next week. I move so much work out, I need a six pack. Pushed up in the big leg, ballin' hard like Escalade. Big time like Flavor Flav, and I take your bitch on the escapade. She leaving out with her nose wide. Legend on the east, but my name be hold the weight on all four sides. The realest nigga with before plies. Real niggas get your money up and not your funny up. I put the pump up to your stomach and get you. Daddy, are you on the radio?